so I tend to be a bit of a Luddite. I do like, you know, I like face to face. I, whenever I'm told we're going to do virtual meetings, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I'd say that um, I think all the services probably had a preconceived view that the only way you can truly get readiness done, that you can get operational planning done, is you got to have people face to face sitting in a room. Um, and when we were forced to the fact that that wasn't going to be possible, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, to be able to put 500 people in a video conference where they all would have full motion, not choppiness, fully could hear each other, they could put charts into that presentation, they could mark up things as if they were going to a whiteboard sitting in a, you know, a command center, uh, is quite telling. And I would say that it's become very clear that the technology is at the right level in capability today, but it's not only the technology, it's the way that people are getting creative and using that technology, I think is what's made all the difference in the world. Uh, we always knew we needed to do telework. We always needed to do these different things, but in a battle for finite resources, we were never able to fund those. And rapidly, this gave us an opportunity to correct a lot of our shortcomings. Um, people have said, will we go back to the way we used to work? I don't believe we ever go completely back. We're setting up the infrastructure and it gives you more options and makes you more combat survivable in a myriad of scenarios. So there's no reason to ever want to go back. And quite frankly, the landscape, not just within the Department of Defense, but across the world has changed because of the, this experience. You know, let's face it, we are going to have a sustained new set of assets that we have been building out of COVID here that are going to be here forever going forward. It's not like we shut this down, we pack it up and we return it. We are going to keep what we put in place. We were talking always about giving people meaningful work and there was a cutoff where classified was concerned. Well, we figured out that and we're spending lots of money to enable that capability. So we're finding that our folks are doing a great job from home or from the office, et cetera. And when you look at the larger strategies that we have, join all domain, command and control, and the things that we're forwarding for our strategies in the national defense strategy, all of these things we're discussing are further enablers to ensure that happens. So I believe, you know, we're not going to turn back. The rule set has been blown away and we're finding better ways, as with every technology, better ways of doing business every day.